DJ Mikey Mike in direct sound and we are doing it from scratch. Actually, we're doing a quick comparison of the JBL PRX uh, 715s with the PRX uh, 615s and the Eon uh, 515XLs, okay, or XTs actually. Um, just did a quick comparison. These are the 615 uh, PRXs and these are the 715 PRXs. Now you notice these are a little bit uh, squattier and wider basically, okay? And uh, so you can see the height difference compared to two. So a little bit of height difference. And I just put my Eon on top because we we're, we're A, B, and comparison, comparison. So the new PRX is uh, a little bit more open, a little bit louder. Uh, it seemed like the old PRX had a little bit more bottom end uh, kind of around the same uh, SPL level. Uh, so really good bass coming out of the old PRX. The bass was good coming out of the new PRX, but I think the old PRX just had a little bit more bottom end sound to it for whatever reason. And then I compared it to the XTs up top. XTs were uh, definitely getting worked uh, on uh, power, uh, but they you, you can see they were laboring at a higher SPL level. Uh, not as much as the PRX's they were doing nice and didn't hear any clipping at all uh, even though clip lights were just at peak level uh, the, the XT up top was once it clipping you could hear it clipping the speaker so definitely you don't want to clip your, your X Eons because you can definitely hear it uh, the PRX's both of them just with the clip light uh, just coming on a little bit uh, not too bad uh, but so there's a size difference a weight I think they're about the same um, Let's go to the back of the speaker real quick. Here's the uh, old PRX. Uh, it has single inputs on this, no bass or treble, uh, and a volume control. Here's the new PRX, dual inputs. Uh, also has RCAs on the on the bottom, and a couple different switching uh, options for you on the 715s. And it's uh, the XT has triple inputs, bass and treble on the on here and um, a couple other switching inputs as well. So depending on what your needs are, um, yeah, I think it'd be a good choice for the either the 615 or the 715. And the PRX is still a good speaker, especially with the bass and treble controls, depending on what you're gonna do with it. Uh, not as strong as the PRX is definitely not. Uh, but uh, for the weight, very lightweight speaker on the, PR, on the uh, XT, very heavy, 47 pounds or 48 pounds-ish on the PRXs, so uh, you're definitely getting a monster. Uh, they also are kind of a wedge-shaped uh, style speaker, so you can use them as a monitor, floor monitor if you needed. So they give you some other options as well. So just uh, doing a quick comparison of the uh, PRXs there, the 615s and the 715s and the XT. Uh, hope that helped a little bit. Uh, Sound-wise, they're really close. I wouldn't go uh, bailing your 615s uh, for 715s. If, uh, if I were you, I'd just hold on to them. Uh, still a great speaker. Um, the 715 gives you an extra 500 watts. I couldn't hear that uh, audibly. Uh, it also adds a fan to the amp, and I was just, it was just mentioned to me that the, the old PRXs get a little warm, so it might start getting labored over time, so the fan might help as well with the 715s. So it's DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound uh, doing a quick uh, speaker review. Uh, JBL PRXs and XTs. Peace!